Hello and welcome everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to install Windows Server 2016 on VMware Workstation 14 Pro. As you can see, I've been presented with three options. Create a new virtual machine, open a virtual machine and connect to a uh, VMware remote server. For this video, we're going to select create new workstation. Select typical and click next. Now we have to select the media type. If we have a CD, ROM or DVD, then we choose the first option. If we have a uh, ISO image, then we can browse the image and then we click open and leave the image there. But now we are going to select, I will start the operating system later so we can make some additional changes. Click next. Now I have to select the guest operating system. We're going to select Windows or Microsoft Windows. And then in the version drop down list, we're going to select Windows Server 2016. Click next. Now we have to name our virtual machine. This name can be anything that you want. I will name mine CVT Server 2016. Location. The location is where the virtual disk is going to reside. In my case, I have it under a virtual machine in my document. So I'm going to leave it as, as default and click next. Now it's time to specify the disk capacity. I will take the default, which is 60 gigs. Of course, for lab environments, it could be a little bit less, maybe 25, 30 gigs, but I will leave it at 60. And then we have to select the storage. I will select a store, a virtual disk in a single file, splitting the virtual disk. It will be a little bit better for, because there are small files, but it will decrease the performance. Click next. Now, let's click on Customize Hardware. Increase the memory by use the slider. Then we can increase also the processor. I will choose two processors. Then the CD-ROM. Again, we don't have a physical disk or a physical DVD, so I will choose use ISO image. Click Browse. Blast the location where you have your image and click Select it and click Open. Then we can click the network. You can leave the network as a NAT or you can also set it up as a host only. So this will not connect to the internet. Click close, power on this virtual machine from here or from here. The virtual machine boot up process will start from the ISO image that we select. Press any key to boot up from the CD. Select Windows Setup EMS Enable. typical screen will come up you know selecting your language to install time and currency format and keyboard or input method since I'm in the United States so I will select the United States all these entries which are the default and then click next click install input your product key and click next Now select the uh, desired operating system. Please note the Windows Server 2016 data center, the first option in this uh, box is only a core installation. So this is not a GUI. So this is only for advanced users. So we are gonna select Windows Server 2016 data center desktop experience. The desktop experience is the one a 
that will give you the GUI like Windows 10 or things like that. Read the description below here, right there. You went, then click next. Accept the license terms and click next. We're gonna select custom install Windows only. This is to wipe out anything that is in the drive. So since we don't have anything, so we're gonna select that option and click next. This is the only disk we have, so click next. And the installation will start. This will take 20 or 20 plus minutes or so. Uh, we'll pause the video and come back in a little bit. Window will boot up and then we'll continue with the settings. Now we have to create a password for the local administrator. Type in the password, then click finish. Now server 2012 has been installed. Server manager will start up. I will close Server Manager and install the VMware tools. Notice that the two black borders on each side of the screen. Although we have a full screen on the toolbar for the VMware workstation, we still not have a complete full screen. Click VM and then select Install VMware tools. Click install. Click the balloon that just pop up right here. If not, and then click run setup 64.exe. If it doesn't open here, just click the Fire Explorer and open this, uh, click on this PC and then browse and you'll see the DVD drive with the VMware tools so just click it and then click on setup 64 click next you can select either option I will select the typical installation and then click next click install please note that this might require a reboot now as you can see I have the whole full screen See, I click on full screen now. This concludes the tutorial on how to install Windows Server 2016. Thank you for watching.